Hey there, boys and girls. I promised you this a while ago. This is our trip to Momocon, a good old-fashioned convention with lots of things from live music to uh, merch to cosplay and pretty much everything in between. Now, Momocon was a little bit over a month ago at the point that we've actually finally finished up these videos, but I figured it would still be good to go over. So we started out by doing the good old-fashioned flying thing where we flew from Denver to Atlanta. Alrighty, so we're in Georgia. That's that's where I am now. I'm glad you know where you are. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, <laughs> okay. guys. So yeah, we're finally... <laughs> the mask is coming up because of why I think so hard. We're finally in Georgia. So the vacation's really starting. Meet. So from there, we did a nice, lovely little jaunt through the airport, kind of enjoying all of the scenery that we could kind of find uh, going from there, going and taking an Uber back to our uh, hotel, which was called The American, a 80s style kind of place uh, that was really, really, really neat. Apparently, a lot of really famous people have stayed there in the past, and it was just kind of cool. Um, nice and themed and extremely close to the convention center, so everything was within walking distance. Uh, a matter of fact, we actually started out the first day by going through a place called the Olympic Park, uh, which, you know, had a lot of that Olympic kind of styled stuff. Uh, as it was heavily themed after when uh, Georgia had held the Olympics itself. Anyway, we headed off to go meet Tawny, a.k.a. D20 Gal, our first day, and go get some ramen. So we decided to take the subway, something Morgan was ecstatic about. Holy cow, this is steep. Why is it like this? It's so weird. It's like, honestly, just like... <laughs> Directly down feeling. I feel like I'm just going straight down. Oh. After kind of maneuvering a little bit of it, of course, to Morgan's absolute excited ability, uh, we kind of ended up traveling through and finally heading towards our destination, a restaurant called E Ramen, which, gotta tell you, their special was just top tier. We also had uh, some fried chicken, I can't remember what it's called, like Tokatsu or something like that, uh, that Morgan got to eat a little bit along with uh, D20. And uh, anyway, here's Morgan's take. I need you to seriously eat this like it's a serious video. Okay, that was really cringe. <laughs> How do I like nicely eat chicken on a video, Remy? That doesn't mean I put it in my face like I normally would. After eating some delicious ramen, we ended up actually talking to the manager, Chris, and getting him to tell us a little bit about e ramen. My name is Chris, I'm manager here at e ramen. Um, these fine people decided to stop in, ate the food. I think you guys should give y'all's review of the food, not me, because I'm a little biased. I do pay my bills. Um, that all said, though, we've been here since, I want to say, late 2019, um, which was the worst time to start a company, in case you guys were wondering, especially a food-based hospitality. We got our feet up under us, and then the floor quickly got pulled out from under us. We're back on our feet now. We're getting busy for the weekdays, weekends even more so. Absolutely crazy. If you guys are ever in town, swing on by. I love being here. Um, I will be here six days a week, every day of the week that we're open. So, yeah. What's your favorite ramen? Uh, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be the e-signature. It won best ramen in Georgia for a reason. So, yeah. We had it. It's great. Morgan, what do you think about the signature? It was so delicious. I'm going to explode from deliciousness. I couldn't finish it. This is not a paid thing. This is not a paid thing. No. I'm not giving them any free things. So, no. <laughs> no, I just sincerely am sad because it was really yummy and I, I'm just full. Um, typically when cons happen, um, there was Dragon Con last year. Yeah, Dragon Con. We had big. huge groups of people here solely for our food and would come back every day at the con because we are open the entire time that the con is open every day. Wow. So people swing by afterwards in the middle of doing all that kind of stuff. And we actually have like a large group of people that are going to be coming back next year. Wow. So I recommend you guys swing back by. You'll probably see some more people. Oh yeah. But, yeah. So we found ourselves at a place called the Tiki Tango, which yeah, I think I, I got that name right, right? Probably. Hideaway Oasis. That does say Tango. Cool. <laughs> it's going to be great. No way, this is a mistake. If it is, can't wait. The Tiki Tango ended up being one of my favorite places that we went. It was a 
uh, Hawaiian themed tiki bar that was honestly just super relaxing. Uh, just the entirety of the feel to how they had like tiki totems set up um, to just how the bar was laid out along with how a lot of the drinks were having that kind of Hawaiian theme. It was just super, 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 super nice. Uh, and everyone was super chill there. Uh, honestly, can't recommend it enough, especially for being just very touristy and kind of going around and just looking at everything. It was fantastic, which is always kind of a nice thing to stumble into. Uh, it was especially because it was kind of like out of the way. Uh, it was on a side street that honestly we probably would have entirely missed if we hadn't just been looking for random bars in the area. They even had like a large projector showing a little bit of a ocean kind of feel on a beach. Uh, and honestly, it was a great vibe. Uh, so from there, we decided to Uber home, stumbling into a crowd of a ton of people that we ended up getting stuck. I'm still not entirely sure what was going on here, but there was a ton of people. From there, we ended up walking around Olympic Park and catching in some of the other sites and getting some ideas for future days uh, in Atlanta. Uh, and then we just went and crashed. Uh, woke up the next morning, got some good old-fashioned breakfast at the American, and then ended up going and meeting some of our friends uh, to get ready and actually go over to the con. Headed over to the convention center, which had been rainy on and off pretty much all day, and then ended up heading directly into Momocon for the first time, picking up some lanyards and that kind of stuff uh, to get ourselves ready for the rest of the week, um, since it was the first day anyway. Um, so, ended up grabbing all that kind of stuff, going through, uh, making sure that we're wearing masks and all that kind of stuff, because COVID, uh, and then going under a large Momocon sign and into a queue. Uh, there was actually a nice little view from the queue itself that you could see, like, their koi ponds and the little ponds around it that people were using for cosplay pictures pretty much all week, along with a few other things, uh, around, like, large, kind of, like, little builds, um, and then from there we went to the show floor. While going around the show floor, we really just did more shopping than anything else. We did some occasional cosplaying and participating in some random stuff, along with uh, Mr. Divide and Conquer, my good friend. Morgan rolled that, and so did Trev, and then we went on to go to the streaming booth, where we ended up streaming together for the first time ever. Stop damning! Stop the dams! <laughs> and now, see, this is I'm on... trying to send the Facebooks! Now, this is on your stream. I can... Hold on, chat. For a good portion of the time we were in the streaming booth, we kept talking about a game we could see. This was it. Uh, you can also check out the full actual stream of that on the Play With Remy archive channel. But from there, we ended up going and actually getting some dinner. We went over to the Tex-Mex place, uh, which is pretty close by. And this is somehow the only picture I got of it. From there, we went to church. Now, church itself obviously isn't a church, it's a bar. We went there with Aiden, who you can see right here. Uh, the full name of it is Sister Louise's Church of the Living Room and Ping Pong Emporium, and I gotta say, it's an experience. We got told to go there by a whole bunch of Uber drivers and some locals, saying pretty much that, and uh, yeah, it's a weird place. Uh, there's a ton of Pee Wee Hermans kind of all over the place. There's a nun with a Pee Wee Herman mask kind of floating from the ceiling, uh, and it's just a whole kind of vibe. It's a parody, a kind of a religion in of itself. There's things all over the walls and pretty much everywhere, and honestly, it makes you kind of uncomfortable in here, but it's a heck of a vibe. Um, and really just kind of a unique experience. I do recommend going once, but maybe that's it. I had a Blood of Christ uh, slushy, which ended up being just kind of okay. Not gonna lie. Definitely did not live up to the hype uh, that people were telling me about. But that said, the other thing that people told me to do is when I go there is to get their steak burger. And oh my god. Uh, gotta say, that thing, this one right here, yo, this was worth it. This this was worth going to church. Ah, that's a, that's a sentence. But yeah, so then we ended up meandering around the rest of the place itself. And yeah, it's it's a weird place. It's real odd, but it was it was a neat experience. Um, honestly, not gonna lie to you guys, it was kind of hard to get this portion of the edit the video done, just because uh, I had to find footage that was suitable to show on YouTube and uh, wouldn't get us demonetized in the future again. Hooray! <laughs> but church was cool. 
Church is cool. All right, guys. Uh, honestly, that's our first two days in about nine minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm hoping to have the other ones up in the next few days, just so that they're all together and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is the reason that it took so long for kind of all this to happen is because I've been editing at the same time. Blah, 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 editing them at the same time. I can speak. I'm keeping this in. I don't really care. Um... <laughs> But so that's that's the thing. It's 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 taken more time than it normally would, um, because I want them all to be out together. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this to anyone that you wanna go see Atlanta with, or have another adventure in Momocon with, or something. I don't know, um, because these are good places to go visit too. Uh, we definitely did a lot while we were in Atlanta, and this is only the first two days. I'll see you guys in the next one when <laughs> things get big.